Villa kicked off at Hillsborough. Improved out of all knowledge under Joe Mercer's management, Villa were confident of beating Notts Forest. Notts goalkeeper Thompson was in action quite early. Then their inside right quickly carried the ball towards the Villa end. A dangerous move, though not sufficiently so, to get past Nigel Sims. Villa believed that an early goal might bring victory in this semi-final. Inside right Jackie Sewell sent the ball into Notts territory, where the good work was carried on by the winger, Leslie Smith. Smith centred, but Forrest left back Joe McDonald got the ball away. Peter McParland gathered a centre. Charlie Thompson cleared, and there was no score by either side at half-time. Forrest set the ball rolling in the second half. Outside left Imlac, a crack shot respected by all First Division goalkeepers, placed the ball well, only to see his efforts wasted, and the ball goes soaring over the bar. It was now a battle between the clever Nottingham forwards and Villa's iron defence. Inside right quickly tried a shot, but it went wide. The Forest corner gave Villa an anxious moment, in fact several anxious moments. Luckily for them, they kept the goal intact. Leslie Smith had a great chance for Villa. From this angle, it looked like an open goal. The second half was now 20 minutes old, and there was still no score. It began to look as if Forrest had the edge on Villa. Even so, their forward still couldn't penetrate the defence. Nottingham centre-forward Tom Wilson put the ball across to Quigley. He brought it under control, shot, and it was in the net. By that one goal, Forrest won through into the final.